uh, it's my firm belief uh, that, well, it's a firm belief for me at least, that if you get a good night's rest, you know, you eat your food, you take all your vitamins, everything else, you do your cardio, I think you can train every day, man. You know, ever since I was a beginner, from pretty much day one onward, I have never taken more than, you know, I couldn't even tell you. Maybe like, dude, I don't know. The longest rest times I've ever taken in terms of like rest days were, well, they pretty much come down to a few different situations. Right. We'll start off with the ones where I actually think to myself, okay, a rest day would be beneficial if I'm fucking dying, if I'm sick as hell from whatever. And I don't mean just like I've got a cough and a stomach ache. I mean like I'm fucking bedridden for some reason. Then, of course, I'm going to take a fucking rest day, man. I'm sick. You know, If your body is in a really compromised state like that, then training isn't really going to do you any good. Now, it may do you some good in terms of your mental toughness, because if you train sick, then you know that's kind of just like, oh, fuck, I want it that bad. I'm going in anyway. You know, it's, it's definitely not the best case scenario for progress. As I've got a little bit more, um, I don't want to, let's just say, well, I don't know. I think as I've got a little more experience with lifting, now I'm more prone to say, okay, I know that I'm sick. I know that it's going to be better for me in terms of making progress and getting back on track to just take a rest day. I think that's the experienced take on if you're sick. But, you know, when I was a beginner, I didn't care if I felt like total shit or if I was like fucking uh, just, I mean, totally out of it. I was still going to go in just because, you know, it made me feel good. I was like, I want it this bad. And I think there's definitely a little bit of benefit I got from that. But that's not me telling you to go in sick. That's just, uh, that's just what I ended up doing. But if I'm sick as hell, Probably no lift, and that's pretty rare. I'm not sick too often. Knock on wood. Or, let's say I'm just for whatever reason totally exhausted. You know, I didn't get any sleep for some reason. School, uh, just being an irresponsible chump, staying up late. Uh, actually, eh, that doesn't happen too often. Yeah. No, fuck. Even if I don't get a ton of sleep, I'm still gonna train. So that, that's actually not true. Uh, and then I guess just scheduling issues. You know. Or if I don't have access, if I um, if I've got a crazy amount of schoolwork, like finals, shit like that, and I actually have to study and I just don't have time for the gym, then you know sometimes I mean just you know fuck me. There's a lot of gaps in the, the um, but there's a there's a couple gaps in the spring bulk, like the videos back you know earlier in the year, and that was around finals time of school because I had to fucking study, man. I don't I didn't uh, didn't want to drop out. So, you know, it's, it's not all about lifting. Sometimes you got to deal with shit in your regular life, which will let you lift, you know. So if you've got other responsibilities, you know, I always try my best to balance them out so I can still get in the gym. And for the most part, I think I'm pretty good at it. But, you know, sometimes you got no choice. Sometimes you got no choice. So you're better off just, you know, eating your food, making sure you're nice and full, and then saving the workout for tomorrow. But, yeah, I mean, I don't, if I've lifted for, it's been a little longer than five years, but let's just say five, that's what, um, almost 2,000 days, I don't think I've even taken 100 days off, uh, so, you know, I'm just, I think you can handle it, man. I think a lot of people take rest days purely because maybe they just feel a little bit tired. Do you really think you're going to wake up, go into the gym four days in a row instead of three days? And as soon as you do your first working set, you're going to go. And you're going to croak right there? No, dude. I mean, look, I'm not that, I don't feel that strongly about it. Because I do think that if over those last, you know, almost 2,000 days, if I were to take a rest day every week, I do think I'd be about the same size. I don't think I'd be in a very different state. But if that's your thing and you want to go into the gym every fucking day and you're a total addict and you want to go against Mike Menzer's wishes of doing the gym only twice a week, then 
you know, don't listen to some dude who's like, you cannot grow if you don't take rest days. You cannot grow. I, I don't believe. Do not freaking believe. So that is my stance on that matter. Let's, uh, let's get one more little topic in before I park it and get some food in me.